Welcome to Dance with Disease. My name is Ren. In 2016, my index finger started wiggling, which is great if you're training a dog, but I don't have a canine companion. And then the word Parkinson's came into my life. I knew from the beginning that this was not the downward spiral of doom as guaranteed by the brochures, but a kick in the ass to look at my life and change. This podcast is dedicated to sharing my magical journey of healing through trying every alternative therapy imaginable. Thanks for joining me. Let's dance. Good morning, friends. It's 5.14 a.m. on May 5th. My back is sore. Oh, boy. Yep. <laughs> My first day on the job was great. It's great to be in a bike shop again. Great to be in that environment. The staff, the other staff are great. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. The uh, the actual product product is, pro- product is quite good. They accelerate so well. Electric bikes accelerate so well. Well, the Pedico does. I don't, I'm sure the other ones do too, but... Yeah, crazy. I'm having vivid dreams. This dream work that I'm doing, awesome. Totally awesome. I'm feeling... Um, yeah, I feel like it's really paying off to do a prayer or meditation before dreaming so that you can dream. Dream that I, the, the interpretation I have so far of this, my dream last night is I've been abdicating my responsibility to other people. Yeah, and that's something I did for most of my life, and that's going to stop because that does not serve me to put my give my power, all my power away to other people. Speaking of power, even though I'm a little fatigued, a little fatigued, even though I'm fatigued from uh, the ride, both there. And to, to there and back. It was the day before with the epic day of gardening and digging that uh, immobil- immobilized my back, <laughs> made it more difficult. I think I'm going to be able to do full shifts. My power, my energy is returning. And that's wonderful. It's wonderful to be able to see a, a more active future. Yeah, not not earning huge amounts of money, but I am uh, I'm on the rise, baby, on the rise.
Ooh. The mind is so self-destructive. <laughs> well, at least mine is. The... Yeah, just so self-defeating. Gotta stay positive, gotta stay on top of things, and then you're not worthy. You can't do it. You're too far down the hole. And uh, that's just part of the deal, I guess. Even though I'm feeling like things are improving. <laughs> Oh man, and then to see that, yeah, to calm the mind, it's at, f at 51 years old, it's possible, it's just taking me so much work, oh my god, uh, and I guess this is the deal, right, it's all part of the plan, to anything worthwhile, it's going to take effort. A huge amount of effort. And, uh, yeah, it's interesting how hobbled I am in the morning. And, uh, before I get on the pad, this bad boy right here, and then, uh, it creates a bunch of the vibrations that increase the circulation. And then I can walk normally for a little while after this. It's very interesting. And the fact that I had the I had the energy yesterday to work for a few hours was pretty awesome. Man, my knowledge of cycling stuff is it's interesting how you forget. I pushed that pushed that away so far. Pushed that away because I was like, I was like trying to push away my old self to transition to the new self, but and I enjoy I I enjoy the process of I enjoy, I enjoy cycling. I enjoy it a lot. And having, yeah, the freedom, the peace and quiet. Man, there could be a headwind down for going from north to south and I'm all, <laughs> if you're riding the headwind, it's pretty awesome. But if you're bucking it, ooh, daddy, work. It's work. And, uh, when you got one one gear on my on my fixed gear, it's like one gear. Oh, I'm rambling, looking for something profound to say, but I really got nothing. Other than that, I'm challenged with the mind. The mind. I've come so far. I've come so far. I've gained so much from this experience. The daily practice, the daily focus, the daily attention to my self-destructive habits. <clears throat> and I am, despite being so fatigued, I haven't found complete moments of calm, like when I'm fatigued. It's the irony of this experience is that when I'm fatigued, the the body shakes more. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, but I'm more fatigued. I slept well. Before I got a, uh, an almond cow for her birthday. I organized a bunch of friends. And uh, to, to pitch together for the almond cow. And uh, she'd be making almond milk. It's hard to let go. It's so hard to let go. And yesterday, me starting on May the 4th, I was like, May the 4th, you know, May the 4th, the uh, meme about Star Wars, 
starting a bike shop May the 4th, let go, let go, that's my ringtone right now is let go, let go, that's so difficult. But it's possible, and it's happening. It's interesting how memories work. I have uh, memories of my short-term memory. I, 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 you know, people want to say short-term, long-term. For me, it's stuff that I care about. If I care about it, if, if it really means something to me, then I can remember. But if I don't, if it doesn't matter, then slips my mind and it gets and I'm okay with that I'm okay with not remembering everything that doesn't matter to me because what's the point not you know filling your mind up with details that are irrelevant to your experience yeah I don't I don't mind sense of sadness. And then, <laughs> and then my mind goes to, it must be, it must be one of the symptoms. Or maybe it's just part of my life right now, going through this awakening. I have this mind thing that wants to pathologize every quirk of my existence. You know, but no, I put the effort in. I'm doing the personal work, day in day out, and I, uh, I'm going through transformation. It just got this, it got a long transformation. <laughs> no Oprah Winfrey moment. Where, ah, and I'm also, I'll, 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 you know, I'm transformed. It's. Well, friends, have a good day. Thank you for listening to the Dance with Disease podcast. My name is Ren. It's been a pleasure to have you here today. For more podcasts and the films, Dance with Disease, log on to YouTube, Ren the Artist. See you next time.